Hello everyone, welcome back to Southern Restoration. In this episode, as you can see, this actually might be an episode where something uh, useful is done in the sense that you might actually get something from the episode because a couple of days ago, I was offered seats out of a Hyundai Trajet because I was told everyone seems to put them into their camper vans. So, I says, I sure will take a chance on them. Plus, I've seen someone do it on their transit before and they says it worked out great. So. I said, you know what, I'll take a chance on them and grab them. So I've got two of these nice swivelly seats. They recline, they do the whole thing. Deadly, deadly, right? What we're gonna do today is we're gonna fit them to this tray, which is, as you know, well, if you know transit, that's basically, usually the batteries go in there. I've got two of them. Obviously, the one out of the other transit that I have scrapping and the one out of mine. Um, another reason why this is a great idea um, which I was going to do anyway with the normal transit seats but I've gotten my batteries that I will use because I kind of needed to get them because I wanted to know if this was going to work and what I'm going to do with this tray well one of them is going to be the passenger side I think this, this is the driver side is it? Yeah. This is the passenger side seat I think this actually might be the passenger side it's the passenger side seat right so what we're going to do with this one is it's going to have the two batteries out of for the leisure system in it and they fit just beautifully and they're going to connect to the system in the van and it's all going to work all nice and it's going to be beautiful and deadly right so that's that's the plan that's what we're going to do but today we're going to get these into the van and i want to show the process and how i'm going to uh fit these seats to it and it's actually not that hard it's actually seems fairly just drill a couple of holes put off these little brackets that are on the the uh the transit seats and Bob's your uncle, you know? So let's get stuck in and take it from there. <clears throat> right, so I'm gonna show you what the crack is. So, see this? This little, what would we call it? It's this little bracket, right? That's where the usual transit bolts go. And there's a couple more of them. There's one, two, three, four, five, but I've already cut these off when I wanted to, when I, when I got the seats first, I cut off a few of them because it was sitting all sideways and wasn't sitting nicely on it. So I cut them off just to get it, to see if it was gonna work, and it did. But I need to cut that one off and these little knobs, we call them, little knobs, uh, off. And then what we'll do is we'll line up our seat, we'll mark the holes, we'll drill them, and I'm gonna use the nut and bolts that I off the Hyundai Trajet bracket, brackets that were on the, on the seats to fit them to the base. And then we'll fit the base to the van. Well, I'll probably fast forward through that because, you know, come on. Do you know what I mean? You just want to see the finished thing and you want to see again. So let's go and get through it. Right, so everyone, so we've lined everything up and uh, everything's cut off. The reason I'm jumping in is where it all lines up, as you can imagine, obviously there has to be treads for the original transit seats just to bolt it. So underneath the seats, there's little nuts welded in um, for the bolts to go through. So I need to cut them off just so I can drill. I have a clear path to drill some holes for the new seats. So let's cut them off and then um, we should be uh, that's a little bit closer. No, you're not allowed to judge me. Yes, this is a Phillips head screwdriver I'm gonna make a pile of hole with, but do not judge me. Just, I can't find a punch just for the drill bit. I'm not gonna actually put a hole in it, just a dent, right? <laughs> Come. 
call me weird or whatever you want to call me, right? But I just want to take a moment, just a second, to appreciate bolts like this. Just, it's just a nice bolt, right? So everyone, that's it. We've got it on and it's lined up straight. Looks spot on. Sitting on it, it doesn't feel like it's off or anything. So to be honest, I'm happy with that. It was fairly handy to do. Just cut all the, the, the nipples and bits and pieces that were sticking out off the original frame where the, the transit frame bolted to. Cut them off and uh, drill a few holes, line it up, you seeing how I did it all. It's fairly straightforward to be honest with you and as you can see it, it's it's perfect and you know, for anyone that wants to do it it is simple and um, all you need is a drill and a grinder a couple of spanners and you can do it um, now I'm not going to show you the next one the next seat I'm gonna just do it but right now what you'll see next is it skip to when the seats are in the pan so check it out right so everyone this is the end of the video i'm going to show you how i got on uh, the seats are all in i've got all my batteries in and everything obviously not connected up as i don't have my leisure system in it but everything's in it and um, i had to cut the carpet on the passenger side uh, or the floor mat i suppose on the passenger side just to fit in the seat obviously because it wasn't made for it but i'll show you um, now how i got on so let's have a look right so everyone these are the seats You've got the leisure battery on the passenger side, the two of them, they sit perfectly in there and then obviously the usual driver's batteries and they're easily accessible, no different than a transit uh, seat. These seats, they actually, the sitting position in these seats are so comfy. I actually wanted to take the van for a spin after sitting in them. They move forward and back, they, with loads of extra room, the swivel is, the swivel function is works 100% as well there's plenty of clearance so there's plenty of clearance underneath where the batteries are just for if anyone was wondering there's so much clearance on both sides just to give you an idea just in case it's something that you were thinking about plenty of clearance as for the swivel I'm pretty sure in most cars you're supposed to do this anyway you know for what if it hits here so you can just move it forward a little bit Swivel it around, me with me dirty hands, gonna get it Maggie. Um and it's just it's just perfect lads. I can't believe the driving position on it is a, is real sweet. It's just chill. It feels like a car. Um so yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. I just wanted to do this anyway, uh as a I suppose episode, another episode of the Bat Van build, and this one might be a little bit more useful than previous videos as these tragic seats suit really nice and they're really handy to put in. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. If there's any questions about these seats, something that you want to see or know about, put it in the comments and uh, I'll tell you how we got on or what I did or what I'm going to do. One other thing before I go that I'll know is I haven't connected up the seatbelts yet as I will have to create a new mountain position for them. Because on the transits, you've got, this usually sits, fits to the, a bracket on the seat, not on the base. So I'm gonna have to figure out a new place for it down here somewhere that it won't be in the way of the swivel for the actual seats. That's like, that's gonna be handy if, I might do a video on that too. Other than that as well, these will have to be replaced to the transit ones. I'm pretty sure I've seen someone put actual transit ones there instead. So I'll do that as well. And I'll probably update that in a video about something else if I think of it uh, in the future. I just wanted to get seats in. This is the main thing done. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to ramble on anymore. Uh, that's that's how we got on. And this is the result. And uh, I'll talk to you in the next one. Thanks for watching this episode. See you then.